Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to animate an icon all in Adobe After Effects. So let's jump into it. Rightio, so we're now in After Effects and the first thing to do is create a new composition. So let's go up to Composition and select New Composition. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna be working with an 800 by 600 pixel size, the same size as a dribble shot. Frame rate will go with 30. The duration, eh, let's go for, we'll change that to 10 seconds. You can set a background color here if you like. Uh, let's just go with white. And I'm just going to give this a name. So we'll call this animation. And then we can click OK. And you can see we have our new comp here. And it also loads this down here. Let's just close the render queue there. So next I'm going to double click either in this space here or go up to file down to import and you can choose file or multiple files. I've just got a single icon so I'm going to select this and click open and you can see it adds the PNG in there. Now I can drag this anywhere I like on the composition and it will position it exactly in that spot or we can go back a step and I can drag this down here and add this effectively as a new layer and it will add it straight in the center automatically. Although from the align panel over here on the right, you can align to various points on the composition. And if you don't see any of these panels, just go to window and then they are all listed here. Okay, so we've added our icon. Now what I'm going to do is just twizzle this little arrow down. Twizzle, is, is that a word? Twizzle, I, we'll run with twizzle. So, <laughs> You can see here we've got scale so I can drag this and it will scale up or down so I can adjust the size. So we could go for 70% and you can see at the moment it's linked together so if I change the height it will constrain the proportions and adjust the width accordingly. We can of course unlink that and adjust those independently. But let's go for 70 at the moment. And what I'm going to do is to create the animation, we're going to have this icon slide in from the right. It's going to stop for a few seconds and then slide out towards the left. So the main thing that we're going to be adjusting is just the position. So at the moment, we are at the beginning of the timeline. You can, of course, scrub this using this here. And we could go to one second, for example. So I'll move the playhead. You can see here it says one second as well. So we're one second in. And what I'm going to do is you can use either the mouse or the arrow keys just drag this off to the right so this is how our animation is going to start what we're going to do now is select the stopwatch next to the position option and you can see it creates a keyframe so we have this keyframe created here and then what i'm going to do is just scrub along to two seconds so over the course of a whole second, it's going to move this icon into view. So now what I can do is I can drag this in. In fact, I don't even need to drag this. I can literally just align this to the center from the align panel. And you can see it creates another keyframe. Now, if you make any adjustments while you have the stopwatch selected, it's effectively recording what you're doing. So if I move this along here and then drag it up, you can see it adds another keyframe. If you want to edit an existing keyframe, you have to drag the playhead, and so it's exactly on that keyframe, and then move around, and it will make changes to that specific keyframe. But if we just go back to the beginning and just scrub through here, you can see that our icon slides in, and we can have it hold for, let's go, two seconds. So we want to keep the exact same values as this last keyframe here because we're not actually changing this. So we just simply click add or remove keyframe, that little icon here, and it will just add one. And we can quickly navigate between all of them using these left and right ones as well. So that's a good way to know that you're definitely snapped onto a keyframe that you'd like to edit. So here we go, between two seconds and four seconds, we've got a two second pause where the icon is just in the center there to view. And then of course we want five. So we'll scrub to five seconds and you can just check five seconds there. We know we're in the right spot. What we're going to do is we can use the mouse again or we can drag this option here or you can enter a specific value if you want, just single click and enter a value. But I'm just going to drag until it's out of the composition frame. So there's lots of different ways that you can move objects around. 
but now we've essentially created it so it starts we have a second of nothing it slides in we have a pause so you can see the icon and it then slides out so if we go back to the beginning now what we can do is we can either play this here or press spacebar on the keyboard and we can see this in action great fantastic <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Okay, so there's a few things that we can do to improve this. One, we could speed this up. So I'm actually going to drag over all these keyframes and drag them back right to the beginning. So it just starts happening straight away without that pause. And something else we can also do, as you can see at the moment, this is a very constant animation. I want this to have uh, a little bit of easing on it. So I can select this keyframe here, hold shift and select this keyframe here as well. And then click this icon here and we can go into the graph editor and you can see we can adjust the velocity. Now this is very complicated and I'm still learning a lot of this myself, but you can, an easy way to do this is to select the easy ease option. And you can see we have those keyframes selected here and it adds a slight bend to them. And what you can do next is press command or control K Nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> Command or Control Shift in K, and it brings up the keyframe velocity dialog box, and you can adjust the incoming and outgoing velocity. So let's change this 33 to 90, for example. So we have 90 for the incoming velocity, and leave this at 33.333 for the outgoing. Let's click OK, and you can see it adjusts that curve a little bit more. So if I play through this again, you can see it slides in nice and smooth and you can see that easing really does make a difference. Now something else that we're going to do is I'm actually going to speed this up a little bit. So at the moment, you can see we have one second. It takes that whole animation to play out. If I move this here, so it's exactly halfway and just bring those back. You can see they're both selected, so they both move at the same time. And I'm actually going to select the two second mark and bring these back. So you can drag over multiple keyframes and you can move them around together. But if I play through this now, you can see it's a lot quicker. Now something else I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this icon here. What this does is enable motion blur for all layers but you still have to go here and select this as well. So I've enabled motion blur for this composition, but you have to select which layers you want to have motion blur. So you just click in this box here and this layer will have motion blur now. If I want to disable motion blur for this composition, I can just click up here to turn it on and off, which is great if you want to preview how it looks with and without. So let's just play that. So you can see we have a nice bit of motion blur then, really, really nice especially useful if you are creating compositions at lower frame rates. It really helps just blend that together a little bit, blend that animation together. So that's really cool. Now what I'm also going to do is add a bit of opacity. So at the moment it comes in and it's still at 100%. You can see down here we've got opacity. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll go right the way back to the beginning here. So you can see that playhead is at zero. We'll click the stopwatch next to opacity and we'll just scrub in to the exact same point as this other keyframe here. And we want the opacity to be 100% when we hit this point. So it's already at 100, so we just simply add a keyframe. And now we can scrub back to the beginning and we can then drop the opacity down to zero. So you can see as I drag the playhead, if you look on the left, you can see the opacity gradually changing as we move through this transition. And then of course over here, we just want to reverse that. So we just want to add another keyframe for opacity because at this point it is 100. Scrub through to that last keyframe and drop it back to zero. So at the very beginning we have zero, it then goes to 100% opacity, so it's fully visible. It stays at 100. And then at this point it then goes back down to zero. So let's go back to the beginning, hit spacebar, and we can play our final animation. And there we go. 
That's how to animate an icon in Adobe After Effects. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. A huge thank you to the people who support me on Patreon. If you'd like to find out more information, there is a link down in the description. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.